Hi, so if there's a chance that you're watching, you're probably a fishing fan. We're down here at Bull Shoals Lake for a Youth Bass Nation tournament. Uh, thanks to Craig LaPointe and Highway 125 Marina and Anchor Point Resort here for hosting the Youth Derby this weekend. Um, but while we were down here, Craig was able to jump in as an emergency boat captain after some failures. Uh, let's kind of give a lake report real quick before we get into what we want to talk about today. Yeah, absolutely. So we're middle of November, uh, lake uh, temperatures at 61 degrees. And uh, I tell you what, if a payout in a tournament was based on smiles, the tournament right now is a million dollar payout because these kids are having a time of their life. Uh, the fishing's pretty good. Uh, the fish are up shallow uh, a little bit if you have a little bit of wind. Uh, we found a few fish that way yesterday, but then it's the normal fall bull shoals uh, pattern where shad ball uh, season's uh, well upon us. And so there's fish out deep. And uh, uh, the best thing is it's uh, the fish are there and they're catchable right now. So yes, yes, they are. I was able to jump on the boat yesterday for about an hour and a half with Brock Bela from Baitworks, one of our new sponsors. And uh, we went a little bait ball fishing. So that was fun. Yeah, absolutely. So now, now's the time if, uh, if you haven't had a chance to do that, uh, as crazy as it sounds, the dead of winter is the time to be down here. And uh, we'd, we'd love to love to see anybody that, that's interested in, in learning that technique. So uh, one, one thing we were talking about the last couple of weeks was uh, future sponsorships and ideas for the LBAA and uh, where to take it. Um, you, uh, you got a cool thing to, to roll out. So yeah, what, what is it? Absolutely. So uh, here in Peel, uh, there's a, a few businesses that love to support the fishing family. Um, obviously, I'm tied in with Anchor Point Resort, uh, but Derek O'Dell is the owner of the Highway 125 Marina uh, that the tournament's here launch out of. And uh, Derek has been supportive of the fishing industry uh, really since uh, he bought the marina uh, several years ago. Uh, but he is thrilled to uh, partner with the LBA this year in a more defined role to really help, help the anglers out. And uh, Derek is going to, uh, Derek and the, the marina is going to uh, be a part of the LBA at a few different levels. But the one that we're most excited about today is uh, announcing the Rising Star Award sponsored by the Highway 125 Marina. All right, so I noticed like, I mean, in the fishing industry, we know we have, uh, you know, on the bass open levels and the MLF, uh, they have a struggle for co's. And one thing at the LBAA level is we have, we have a waiting list for co-anglers. So what does the Rising Star Award actually do? I know it has something to do with boaters and co's and you're gonna explain that a little bit. Yeah, ab absolutely. So this award is really designed to help encourage uh, the experience for making that transition from a non-boater over to a boater. So we know that some of the entry or some of the barriers to that, number one is obviously the cost of going from a non-boater to a boater. And then maybe that anxiety of, hey, do I have the ability to win this tournament? Uh, and is it worth it financially to, to take that risk? And this award, award kind of softens both of those aspects. So the award covers the entry fee for, uh, for the tournament, as well as provides a little additional uh, spending money. So the Rising Star Award, that sounds like a cool thing. I, I know you've told me a little bit about it. We obviously worked on behind the scenes um, with Highway 125 here. So the Rising Star Award is created towards a boater. Can you explain what that award is? Yeah, absolutely. So this award will be given to someone who has uh, not fished with the LBAA in the last two seasons as a boater for the first four events this year. Awesome. So last two seasons, you mean like 2022, 2023, right? Correct. Okay. Awesome. So in 2022, 2023, if they haven't fished as a boater, I'm just trying to make sure they understand it. We'll just kind of ask questions here. If they have not fished as a boater at either one of those two seasons, and they, let's say they come to Toledo Bend next year, our first stop on the LBAA, and if they are the winning boater or highest placing boater, how's this going to work? It would be the highest placing boater, again, that has not fished within the past two seasons. So and you could get 13th place and win some money? Absolutely. That's, that sounds pretty cool. So how much is that going to pay out? It's going to pay out $500. At which, each event? At each event, which will cover your entry fee plus a few extra dollars to help cover some of the other expenses. So if I'm, uh, let's just use a random name, Susie, and I fished Toledo for the first time, haven't fished in two years as a boater, I can qualify for that award. But then I come to stop number two here at Bull Shoals, I'm no longer eligible for that or am I still eligible? So you're no, you're no longer eligible for the Bull Shoals. However, the uh, by participating in multiple events and hopefully qualifying for the end of the year championship event, you are then eligible for that portion of the award. Okay, so there's gonna be one for the classic for all the new boaters that haven't fished a classic in the last two years. Exactly. That sounds awesome. Okay, so what happens, just a scenario here that could happen, what if uh, say we go to stop number three at Table Rock next year and there's no new boaters at Table Rock? 
then that money will roll forward to the classic pot. Okay, so that increases that classic pot even more. Exactly. Um, trying to think if there's any more questions that the ladies might have. Now, there's a few different scenarios that, that may come up that we can address, but obviously, uh, you know, perhaps you're a, a boater uh, that you have fished as a boater uh, in the past couple of years, but you only were able to fish one or two events and you didn't qualify for the classic. This year, by fishing uh, enough events and doing well enough to actually qualify for the classic, that also gives you an additional avenue to, uh, to, to win the award. Right. Okay. So. Me as a me as a co angler, I used to fish opens, and as a co angler, I had that anxiety level. That was one of the hurdles for me. Other people might have the hurdle of financials, so that's kind of what this award was given to is kind of to lower that anxiety and and possibly lower that entry barrier. Yeah, ab absolutely, and that's a lot of what the Highway 125 stands for. It's that that family fun activity where they where they really want to encourage uh, you know anglers uh, of all of all levels to get on the water. Okay, so quick recap. You're a brand new boater, or you haven't fished as a boater in the last two years, 2022, 2023 seasons, you show up to a first lake as a boater, you can win $500 for the highest placing finisher, no matter if you win first place, third place, last place, you could be the only boater in the field you'd qualify, right? That's correct. Even if you weigh no fish. Exactly. I mean, no. I'm signing up. I, if I, well, I can't sign up. No. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> if I was one of the ladies, I would be signing up, no. right? Well, easy money. Right? So. Heck yeah. Well, I appreciate you doing all this hard work and working with Derek at Highway 125 Marina. I know the ladies appreciate you. I appreciate you. Everything that you've done for the Youth Nation World Fishing Tour, this whole Peel Lake, Arkansas, Bull Shoals area is... Uh, is going to be something to see as it grows. No, absolutely. Come to an awesome section of the lake, have a great time, and make some money. Can't lose. Yep, awesome. All right, well, ladies, we hope to see you next year on the Ladies Bass Anglers Association. We're going to be at Toledo Bend, Bull Shoals, Table Rock, Gunnersville, and then a classic on Grand Lake. And we got an exciting schedule for 2025 in the works. So we're going to do our best to get even more sponsors and even more awards to make it a little bit higher return on investment and a higher payout for you. Thanks for tuning in, and please share this video. And until next time, we'll see you soon.